Do you know that 90% of the crypto is held by 7% of the market? A group of people who got in early wells, which means that 10% of crypto is spread across 93% of the market. One of the things that I do when I'm having my duels with the crypto bros is I ask them a simple question that I have yet to get an answer to. How much money has crypto made you? They refuse to answer that question. This is my thesis on crypto. If you had started a business three years ago, you would be financially better off than investing in cryptocurrency. And the more I look at this, the more right did I realize it. Because I had a guy tell me, you were wrong. And I asked him, how much money has crypto made you? And it's like, I'm, I'm in the crypto space, I'm working, and I'm not gonna disclose my income. It kind of reminds me of when I was posting receipts. For those of you who've been around a while, you used to see me posting ATM receipts, um, bank account receipts, showing six figures in the bank. And I remember a girl, she's like, that's just too much money to have sitting. And I was like, what is your net worth? I don't feel comfortable sharing that information. You wanna know why she did not feel comfortable sharing that information? And why the crypto bro didn't wanna tell me how much money he made? Because it's not impressive. Let's say you threw $1,000 in the crypto and you made $3,000. You actually made money with cryptocurrency. Congratulations. Congratulations. But here's part of my argument. I have shown you the benefits and the power of, start, of starting a business. I've gone to a Porsche dealership, not once but twice, and paid cash for two Porsches. I've shown you the power of a business. And someone hit it in the comments section because someone was calling me a narcissist. And he says, could it be that he's tired of people who are less than trying to correct him? I have everyone trying to get me to the crypto space. I've literally seen comments. You're going to regret it in 10 years, bro. I have been making six to seven figures per year for the last 23 years. I am already rich. You're trying to get rich in the most least efficient way possible. I keep saying you can ride a horse and buggy or you can drive a Ferrari. Horse and buggy investments. Yes, statistically, if you put $3,000 per month in an index fund or a mutual fund for 20 to 30 years, at the end of that time period, you will have a million dollars. But here's the problem with that. Inflation. Inflation is gonna turn that million dollars that you're gonna develop in 30 years into about 450,000. And this is something no one brings up. Once again, I practice income velocity. I have a lot of money in the bank. And yes, each time, each year I leave the money in the bank, inflation destroys my purchasing power. But here's the thing. Let's just say I had $10 million in the bank and I had a business that made me 2 million a year. I would lose 8.5% is $850,000, right? But because I made 2 million, I replaced that 850 and I added another million. So I am ahead of the inflation. This video was brought to you by B-School for Hustlers. Right now, we're gonna get into the intellectual property school. What's that, you ask? Intellectual property is writing books, creating YouTube channels, creating podcasts, creating online courses. And this is one of the most powerful ways for you to make money in today's market. Selling online courses is part of a $500 billion industry and it's growing. I'm gonna teach you all of my tricks 
like one trick in particular, how to make five to $15,000 with a small YouTube channel. This is something I've done. This is something I have been doing since 2009. So once again, this isn't quick money, six months to a year before you really start to see the money. But I guarantee you that if you avail yourself and you work hard, you can make significant money while you quit keep your job. And this is something that I address in the Art of Profit podcast, why you're gonna quit your job. Um, once again, the Intellectual Property School. Right now, I have a deal. Go below, get 65% off, and in about a week and a half, I'm gonna start adding more training. But in the meantime, in the between time, you're gonna get access to home economics, which is something you should, you should do. That is, your, that is the foundational course. That is the foundational course because that sets the stage for you to make more money because you are gonna manage and control the current money you have before you make more money. All links below. Go ahead, get into the Intellectual Property School where I'm gonna teach you how to write a book, I'm gonna teach you how to start a YouTube channel, teach you how to do a podcast and teach you how to create online courses and some more intellectual property tips and tricks and strategies. All right. That comment was very insightful. I am tired of people who are making jump change telling me what I should do to make money because they feel that they're so smart because they're buying cryptocurrency. One of the reasons that I'm not seduced by cryptocurrency is, and th this is something that's like, yeah, 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 but you would've made more money. And this is from people, statistically, who are not holding a lot of cryptocurrency. Like I said, 7% of the market holds 90% of cryptocurrency, 90%. And that other 10% is spread across 93% of the market. So they're really, unless you got in early, and early was eight, 10 years ago, there are not a lot of people having huge um, holdings of cryptocurrency. So I got people, once again, if you put maybe 10,000 in cryptocurrency and you made 30, 40,000, congratulations. You have accurately and currently made money with cryptocurrency, but here is my point of contention. Most people who are making money, in my opinion, with cryptocurrency are making chump change. You cannot afford to buy a Honda. You cannot walk in a Honda dealership, put down cash and walk out with a Honda. You can't do that with your cryptocurrency gains. You know how I know this? Because I've done the research to make a lot of money with cryptocurrency today, you need a lot of money. You need a lot of money. Right now, Bitcoin has fallen to 24. It was uh, like 23.5 this morning. So even at 23.5 to buy a whole Bitcoin, you need 25,000. And a lot of people are hoping that it really crashes to 15 so they can scoop some up. And I submit to you that 99% of all crypto is gonna crash because I don't care about the use case scenarios. And this is something else that's happening right now. A lot of people have invested buku money in crypto mining. And because the price is crashing, it is a losing proposition, cost them more money to mine the crypto than they're making. How long do you think these miners are gonna keep spending more money than they're making to mine crypto? A lot of them are gonna opt out. So that's another issue that's happening with crypto right now. And I feel this year, <clears throat> right now with the stock market uh, being at the low, is, is, I think it's gonna crash some more. And Bitcoin, which isn't supposed to be tied to the stock market or world events, it's very much tied to the stock market. So going on with my original thesis, if you had started a business three years ago, and I'm gonna give you some benchmarks, 
because I'm going to give you numbers. Even though the crypto bros refuse to tell me how much money they made with crypto because it's not that impressive. If you had started a business that makes $2,000 a month, which is $24,000 a year, three years ago, you would be better off financially with that small business than you would be buying crypto. 2000 you want to know why? This is how business works. The year that I did 3 million and my um, basis cost, operating cost was 50,000. So I was 200 and 900 and thousand dollars to the good. And to the person who's like, hey, you know, I need to sell online courses. I need to get into that, that seems to be money. Tap in, bruh. Because see, many of you go ahead and talk about selling online courses and making all this money because you don't have any framework how difficult it is because I'm able to do it and I've been doing it for a long time. I make it look easy. So many of you, I I'm going to say this, go ahead and start an online course and let's see how much money you make. There are Facebook groups with people who are creating online courses and 90% of them are struggling. They've created an online course and see that this is the thing. And this is where my business expertise comes in. See, you've got to have a marketing device to sell an online course. So all of you crypto bros who are talking about, I'm going to create an online course and I'm going to get some of that money because that's where the money is. You're trying to mock what I do because you don't respect me because you feel that you're smarter than me because you're buying crypto even though you have less money than me. That is the thing that burns. I got people who have bought crypto who cannot afford to buy a Honda, let alone a Porsche and a BMW in the same month, telling me what I should do to make money. When I have provided receipts, I have shown you the way I'm trying to bring you to the sunlight and you're trying to bring me to the darkness because you are arrogant son of bitches who feel because you're, you know, crypto is the future. I feel this is what's going to happen in the future. There will be a centralized cryptocurrency issued by governments because this is one of the problems. Anyone like if I wanted to create a crypto project today, I can go ahead and take the blockchain and build on it and create my own cryptocurrency. That's one of the problems with cryptocurrency. The fact that anyone can create it. Now you out there, because you like the hype of cryptocurrency feel, that's good. You like that. It demeans the whole cryptocurrency. Mark my words, there will be a central cryptocurrency put out by the United States government within 15 years. And that's going to eradicate all of these Hey, I was in my basement. You know what? What? Let's create a cryptocurrency. Yeah, let's do that. And Bitcoin may go to zero. I have people right now who want to bet me $10,000 that, you know, it's like, it can't go below 20. It just can't. Really? Based upon what? I'm giving you actual facts. Based upon what? Why can't it go below 20,000? Why can't it go below that? First of all, Bitcoin, Erythium, and all the cryptos are based on a hype cycle. It's hype. This is why every time I put up a video talking about crypto, I get all of these people in there talking about every wise individual is going to invest in crypto. And once again, I'm trying to bring you to the promised land. I am sick and tired of people who are not making any damn money trying to tell someone who's a millionaire how to make money. The arrogance, the sheer arrogance, the hoospa is like right now you're living in, a, in your mother's basement and you got a little stash of crypto and you feel like a financial genius because you bought crypto. And I said this, you got lucky. You got lucky because of the hype cycle of the market. So my thesis still stands. If you started a small business three years ago, making $2,000 a month, 
you would be further ahead in life than buying and investing in crypto. Now, all of you with your crypto schemes, like there was a guy, Jesse Echo, I was watching him and he invested in auto cake and surf pools and all of this other stuff. And it started off with a 92% APY. And then it went down to 72%. And this is what I consistently see the, with the hype cycles. The crypto projects come out with all of these promises and it's just not sustainable. And a lot of crypto projects are rug pulls. They hype it up, they get you going, you invest, and then they sell. And they then the month, then like Luna, weeks last, about three weeks before Luna crashed, I had someone telling me how I should invest in Luna. And it was like, you should do it. If you don't do it, you're gonna regret it. And I remember telling this person over lunch, I was like, you know, there's a good chance that can go to zero. He said, it'll never happen. It may go down a little bit, but it'll never go to zero. And then three weeks later, it went to zero. And this person has been avoiding my phone calls. I have called him 10 times and he will not pick up the phone. Cause see, this is another thing with you crypto bros. When you are dead ass wrong, you run like little cowards. Cause a lot of people, you know, I, I have this $10,000 bet. And let me tell you how I construct the bet. I don't bet with people who don't have the money. Cause a lot of people want to go ahead and bet and they don't even have the money that we're betting, right? So what I want to do is to take the money, put it in the escrow account and assign terms. So whenever the event happens and it gets triggered, then I get the money. And, and when, we, when we do it like that, it gets all kinds of interesting. Well, I want it to be in private or they just disappear. See, here's the thing. That $10,000 is a lot of money for you to have sitting in an escrow account because, you know, once again, people like will debate me and talk about like, you know, you were saying, and here's the thing. Most of you are trying to buy crypto because you're trying to get rich quick. You cannot convince me otherwise. You're trying to buy crypto because you're trying to get rich quick. You're not trying to buy crypto for the technical fundamentals or the use case studies. That's bullshit. You're trying to buy it, spend five bucks on the crypto and hope this crypto goes to a hundred bucks. That's what you're looking for. And that's the hype cycle. And once again, we're doing this global reset and we're gonna have this recession. And I guarantee you, the stock market is gonna go lower. And I guarantee you, crypto is gonna go lower. And then, this is the thing, because right now, there are these people with these diamond hands. They're holding on to their crypto, right? Six months from now, a lot of these diamond hands are gonna turn into weak hands. They're gonna sell, they're gonna panic because I feel when Bitcoin goes below 20K, you're gonna see so much panic. You're gonna see so much blood in the streets. You're gonna see people freaking out because that's the mental that it can't go below 20. It can't go below 20. You know, yeah, as long as it stays above 20, I'm good, right? The minute it goes below 20, all hell is gonna break loose and it's probably gonna jump down to 15. But once again, there are you out there who feel that you're smarter than me, but you have less money than me. That from an intellectual standpoint makes no sense because if you were making more money than me, you had a better business, then yeah, I would say you're smarter than me. See, I don't believe in just talk in the comments. I like to see results. And this is one of the reasons that I was posting receipts. I was posting ATM receipts. How many of you have ever gone to the bank and pull out money and there's $250,000 in the bank? Most of you haven't seen that kind of money. And I almost did it. And I'm gonna tell you why I stopped, I stopped showing receipts. Global reset, uh, the new world order, the great, the, the recession is coming. I was making myself a target because if I kept putting all that stuff out there and kept talking about how much money I made and how much money I have, I'm just making myself a target because the murder rate is spiking. 
the crime rate is spiking. In California, they put out laws like you can steal up to $900 worth of stuff and they don't do nothing to you. As California, the Californication of America, as California goes, this is going to spread through America. So get ready for 2023 in this vast crime wave. Vast crime wave that's, that's coming. And once again, murder is at an all-time high. Petty crimes at an all-time high. Domestic abuse, all-time high. Suicide, all-time high. And here's the thing. It isn't as bad as it's going to get. It's not as bad as it's going to get. So it's going to get much, much worse. Because right now, the economy is naked. And what do I mean by that? There's no stimulus money. You saw what the stimulus money between the enhanced unemployment, the PPP fraud, we're looking at $500 billion in the PPP fraud and EDL loan fraud. And then the American people got 1.8 trillion through direct stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment. And when you put the fraud, that's $2.3 trillion that the American people got. And they spent that money. They spent that money. They spent it. And now that money's gone. And now real economic fundamentals are kicking in. And that's why the stock market is crashing. That's why crypto is crashing. And it's going to get worse. So once again, this is my thesis. Because you crypto bros are funny. You're trying to tell someone who is way wealthier than you are how to make money. And see, this is one of the reasons that now I used to be all up on Bitcoin. I actually had Bitcoin and I sold it in 2017. I bought at 10 coins. I sold it for 200 K and I left the market because I saw it was going to be nuts. And this is one of the things because you, you keep telling me you need to research these projects. OK, let me say this for the people in the back. I am already rich. So and I'm a pretty practical person. So why would I go over here and invest time, energy in something that might make money and then leave something that I know will make money? That makes no sense. And once again, I'm going to say it. You crypto bros have never seen real money. You have never seen $100,000 in your checking account. You've never seen that. You've never seen a million dollars in your checking account. You've not seen real money. And this is why you're so seduced by this $500 and maybe $2,000 a month you're making for crypto. Once again, most of your crypto gains to me are chump change. Chump change. And this is one of the things with the uh, intellectual property school. I'm going to teach people how to make life changing money. Your crypto gains because statistically you don't have enough money to invest in crypto to make a lot of money. Statistically speaking, statistically, I know that the average person, 85% of America only makes 35,000. So you don't have a lot of money to invest in crypto. And this is why 7% of the crypto market owns 90% of crypto. And these, you know, oh, oh and th this, this is something else. All of these uh, investors and this big money's investing in crypto. You should look at that. Really? Guess what happened in um, 1992, 93, 94? All these big investment bankers invested in all this top tech stock. The tech stock that crashed to zero. Same people. They invested in this tech stock. So I am not seduced because there's a bunch of people out there because there's very much a gambler's mentality with a lot of Wall Street people and they're gambling right now. And I'm not seduced that, oh, they're putting all this money in there. The big boys, JP Morgan, all this thing. They're putting hundreds of millions of dollars. <sighs> I don't care. Let me say it for the people in the back. I'm already rich. I am already rich. I am not trying to get rich. I'm trying to maintain my level of wealth that you have yet to obtain. 
And that's why I get so sick of you crypto bros who feel that you're so smart and so sophisticated because you're buying crypto. I can't wait until the massive meltdown happens. Because see, I'm gonna still be making money while you're losing money. And it's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be um, beyond hilarious because I have all of these weak people, moist men, who don't own anything. They own a little crypto. Congratulations. Bless your little heart, you own a little crypto. Like I said, I don't, I'm not seduced by crypto because I have seen $350,000 months in my life. I've had a month where I've made more money than the average person made investing in the stock market for 20 to 30 years. I made that in one damn month. And that's why I am so confident. It's like, oh, you're a narcissist. Really? Michael Jordan said it the best. It ain't bragging when you've already done it. It's bragging when you speak about doing it before you've done it. And everything I speak about on this channel, I've done. I've shown you receipts. I've shown you proof. And I have all these silly ass, whiny little men who feel that they're so smart and sophisticated when they don't have any damn substantial wealth. None whatsoever. They cannot even go out and pay cash for a Honda. For a Honda. Yet they feel that they can tell me how to make money and I've been making six to seven figures for 23 years. I got a track record. I have a documented track record on this YouTube channel. Yet for some reason, and I, I feel it's because you're in your feminine energy. This is something that a woman would do. Like I was dating this chick who was really jealous and she would say all the passive aggressive stuff and I had to get rid of her. I had to get rid of her. So my thesis still stands and Bitcoin is going to crash lower. And you know, it's like, hey, you've been saying that. And one of the reasons I have shown you, I have shown you time and time and time again, the benefits of owning the business. And because you are lazy, I'm gonna keep it the buck. And Elon Musk has been saying this. You are lazy and this is why, hey, I got a little crypto investment. I got some money in some crypto and, oh, in the investment thing. I'm about to say something that's gonna be extremely dismissive. If you think that investors make more money than successful business owners, you are dumb as fuck. And you lack critical analysis skills. You cannot look at a problem and come up with a, a critical analysis because you don't have those type of skills. It's like, oh, I'm gonna follow the follower. I'm gonna invest. And this is something I see. Whenever I see a business owner get into the investment stuff, now, once again, let's say you, you have a company, right? And you sold your company, and you had $25 million. At that point, investing in stuff to preserve your wealth makes a lot of sense. But when you're making $30,000 to $40,000 a year, your investment should be in, in making more money. That's what you should be investing in, making more money. That's what you should be investing in not crypto, not the stock market, because from a cost basis, you don't make enough money to be a significant investor. You just don't. And like this month, because now I've opened back up the online course business, I'm gonna make more money this month than you've made your whole time in crypto. But once again, I can, I can show you charts, I can show you slides, I can show you ATM receipts, I can show you checking account, and you're like, no, 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 I'm gonna buy this crypto, because you're seduced. And this is one of the things that's really interesting. The number of people who don't own any crypto who want to fight me about the benefits of crypto. I don't own any crypto, but it's the future. Why don't you own any crypto? Because you know it's a risky bet. You know that, but you keep wanting to debate me. So once again, if you, I ask you how much money you have made with crypto and you ignore that question, I'm gonna block you and just keep it moving because you're silly. You act like a damn child. Like, you know, people, I'm not gonna disclose this. Next thing you know, you're gonna ask me more from a social security number. I have been on a plane.
it's not hard at all. I have met people on the plane who've told me how much they made, how much their business was doing. It's quite easy. The fact that you don't want to actually give real concrete numbers means that you're ashamed. And you want to boast about how well you're doing, but you're ashamed to accurately put out exactly what you made. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. So once again, if you come from me, and I know many of you will because most of you have, in my opinion, an unhealthy attachment to cryptocurrency. You have an unhealthy attachment, unrealistic expectations, and I can't wait until the market melts down. Because at that point, I'm gonna do a video talking about, yo, crypto bros, come for me now. Come for me now. Because I've been talking about this, because once again, my opinions and the form of opinions are based upon this thesis that starting a business is the best way to get rich fast. You could drive a horse and buggy investing, playing around with crypto, or you can get in a Lambo, start a business and get become a millionaire in three to 10 years. That's my thesis. And once again, I'm like right now, I am sitting on half a million dollars in personal credit $300,000 in business credit. I've got a lot of cash in the bank and I am just waiting for the meltdown because see, you think they're blood in the streets right now? Wait, wait until this food shortage hits. Right now I have a friend whose mother lives in the outer banks of Georgia. She can't find chicken. She can't find chicken. And when these food shortages start to hit and when this gas goes up, the gas is gonna keep going up because this is the thing gas, food, rent. Uh, I was looking at rental houses because I didn't know if I was going to stay here. And I'm just going to buy. I'm going to re-sign here for another year and then I'm going to buy because these people are crazy with what they want for rent. I saw houses that were going for $5,000 a month that was half the size of my old house and didn't even have a yard. I had a 5,000 square foot house sitting on two acres. And I am not gonna go backwards and spend more money to live in less of a house. That makes no sense to me. And this is the thing, I'm gonna pay cash for the house. I'm gonna pay cash for the house. And that, that sounds like such a far-fetched thing to the uninitiated. But what if I've been telling you, I have the ability to make millions of dollars in one year. So what I'm gonna do, Let's get all my stuff nice and shiny, get my, my process down, and then I'm gonna start putting money in the account. Honestly, I could, because like right now, this is one of the ways I segment my money. I have money in my personal checking account, that's money that I spend, and then I have certain checking accounts with other money, and I got um, a lot of money in one account, and I have a plan for that in the future. So one of the things that I never do is spend all my money. I will never spend all my money in the investment. And what I'm gonna do is employ the do more principal, make more money, and then I'm gonna create another checking account and I'm gonna put this money in there for a house. And the house I'm gonna buy is probably gonna be between a million and 1.5. And I'm gonna pay cash for it. And one of the reasons I'm gonna have this money in the bank and have it in a checking account, because I'm probably gonna move into my personal account, is when you pay cash for a house, they wanna see that you've had the money in the bank for a minute. They want to see, they're gonna, they're, you just can't roll up and like, hey, here's cash for a house. You can't, no, 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 they wanna make sure that this cash isn't from some illegal activity. So they're gonna vet you even if you're paying cash for a house. And I'm gonna have this money in my personal checking account and I'm gonna write a check for my house. So for all you folks who feel that you're smarter than me, I wanna see you pay cash for a Honda. Once again, I got the bar really low. I want to see you pay cash for a Honda, your next car, because, and this is one of the things, you crypto bros, a lot of you got debt, which is stupid, which is dumb. You have all this, I got my crypto gains, but you got all this debt. You got a car payment, you got a house payment, but once again, you feel that you're really moving up in the world because you got some crypto. I can't wait until next year when it's really going to get bad. I can't wait because I'm gonna be talking my shit and y'all ain't gonna like it. You, Some of you, some of you gonna like it. The nerd tribe, the people who appreciate the things I do, but all of you weak, moist men, 
you're in for a very rude awakening. Very rude, very, very rude.